about time we had some decent weather. Spring's in full swing now, as you can hear with birds singing. Most of my videos have been in coats and hats. So it's about time this weather came. Let's just hope it lasts. So today's video is going to be all about horizon balancing and horizon steady with the Action 4. A few people's contacted me about the horizon balancing and the horizon steady as they're unsure how to use it or what it would be used for. So today I'm going to do an in-depth video and show you exactly how that works on both modes. So to start we will be doing the horizon balancing. So I'll switch over to the Action 4 and I'll explain exactly how that works. Here we go. So to activate horizon balancing, just tap the bottom left icon. You'll need to be in video mode. Swipe up where the resolution is. And you'll see the top right, just click the icon. And all the modes are there. The Rocksteady, Rocksteady Plus. In this case, horizon balancing. Just activate that. Swipe back down. And now your horizon balancing is activated. So with the horizon balancing, you can only film up to 4K60. And obviously anything below that. So with the horizon balancing, you can get away with moving the action four to the left or right 45 degrees. As you'll see from the footage, when you exceed the 45 degree mark, then the screen will start to rotate. Always make sure you never exceed the 45 degree angle and you'll always have a true horizontal horizon. As you'll see from the footage. And with the horizon balancing, don't confuse it with the horizon steady. Because on the horizon steady, which we'll get to next, you'll be able to go a lot more than 45 degrees, as we'll see soon. So if you were to mount the Action 4, let's just say on a mountain bike, and you didn't quite fix it correctly at a horizontal position there, if it's just slightly to the right or slightly to the left, That'll be great to use horizon balancing as it's going to rectify that and keep the horizon at a true level. Or basically if you just mounted it to your chest mount and it was slightly off centre, left or right, then the horizon balancing is going to fix that for you. So it's a really clever feature that DJI has implemented into the Action 4 and it can be really useful. So that's just covered the basics on the Action 4 on the horizon balancing. Now let's get to the horizon steady. And now to activate the horizon steady mode, Again, the bottom left icon, which is the video mode, swipe up for the resolution, top right, and you're able to scroll all the way across there, and now you'll see Horizon Steady. Do keep in mind, you'll be able to film up to 2.7K 60 frames per second, and then you'll have the Horizon Steady, as you can see. But if you want to film in 4K, as you'll see, the Horizon Steady is not activated. You'll only be able to use Horizon Steady up to 2.7K, 60 frames per second. So now you know how to find and activate Horizon Balancing and Horizon Steady. Let's get back to the video. And with the Horizon Steady, you'll only be able to film up to 2.7K, 60. You can't film in 4K with that one. Right, let's get testing the Horizon Steady. I'll be filming at 2.7K, 30, just to demonstrate that one. Here we go. So I'm filming in 2.7K, 30 frames per second, horizon steady. As you'll see from the footage, as soon as you hit 90 degrees, you'll see a slight shift. As you'll see from the footage. But what it will allow you to do is go 360 degrees, keeping the horizon level, as I'll demonstrate now. I'm going to rotate the action for 360 degrees, and you'll see from the footage the horizon will be level. As you can see, this is quite difficult to do when you've got a camera in the other hand. I'm doing the best I can. And that's really clever how DJI's managed to do that. The Horizon Steady is absolutely brilliant in most scenarios, attaching to mountain bikes, helmets, chest, even your car, as I've explained. But as you've seen from the footage, when you hit the 90 degree mark, you see a slight play in the screen there. I've seen these cameras attached to the aeroplane wings, and as the aeroplane's twisting round, the horizon stays level. 
and that is just really strange to see. You'll have to search that on YouTube because it's quite a strange one. Let's go down here. So just to recap, do keep in mind horizon balancing do not exceed 45 degrees and you can film up to 4K 60 and the horizon steady you'll only be able to film up to 2.7K 2 60 and as long as you don't exceed the 90 degree you'll get absolutely no shift in the screen there. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this today and you can see the differences between the horizon balancing and the horizon steady and which scenario you'll be able to use it in. Just don't forget you'll only be able to use it in certain resolutions. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bye for now.